When speed becomes a challenge, the police hesitate not to pursue. This video captures their thrilling pursuits on the highway as law enforcement and criminals face off. Who will emerge victorious in the adrenaline field race? Perhaps these will be the intense scenes you've never witnessed before. A vehicle with an expired registration was spotted moving along the street, prompting the police to confirm the information through the license plate, and law enforcement swiftly identified the vehicle's location and initiated a pursuit. We're stopped at the lighted stagecoach to turn east. Police sounded the sirens and demanded the vehicle to stop. However, it showed no intention of doing so, and upon making a right turn, the police car closed in on the vehicle. But the driver drove off in the opposite direction. A dispatch report was quickly made to the police headquarters, and the FBI was also present to assist in the pursuit. The offending vehicle was intercepted by a police patrol car from behind and timely preventing it from fleeing onto the main road. An FBI white car blocked the front of the offending vehicle. The driver of the offending vehicle was immediately apprehended. Show me your hands! Don't you put your hands down, you hear me? 30 feet, little rock kid, I got an FBI out with you. you want to go? Want to go? I promise you, huh? Huh? Nothing wrong with you? You seem pretty stupid to me. Why are you running? Huh? You get scared, so you run? Yes, sir. Well, that's a shitty excuse, I'll tell you that much. Have a seat. I thought he was trying to stop out of weed or something on the Oh, was he? Yeah. Upon receiving information about a stolen vehicle in the vicinity, the police immediately sprang into action. Determined not to let the suspect escape, patrol units joined the pursuit swiftly. The vehicle moved at a high speed, swerving past the officer's car. A fellow officer followed closely behind. A pit maneuver was attempted in an intersection but was unsuccessful, and the patrol officer became the primary unit in the pursuit this time. The vehicle continued to evade at high speeds, weaving through the traffic lanes, overtaking numerous vehicles on the road, and upon closing into the suspect's left side, the police executed another pit maneuver, bringing the vehicle to a halt. Pit, 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 Richardson Ranch. Thank you. 
beside the road. A police reported that the passenger in the car was injured and was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment. A discovery was made that the substance believed to be methamine was found on the suspect at the hospital, and both individuals are under arrest. Therefore, the advice to everyone in a never to engage in a race with the police because the outcome will not be favorable. While on patrol duty, the police noticed a black Honda speeding beyond the legal limit. The officer tracked the vehicle and attempted to pull it over. Despite police efforts to approach, the driver seemed suspicious and continued to flee at high speeds. Hey, sir, how you doing, Trooper 8 with State Police? That's the reason I'm stopping you're speeding, okay? I'm doing 88 and speed limit 65. And upon receiving the situation report, another patrol car swiftly joined the pursuit. We're going to be on Route 68, we're going to come back towards the west. 909, X-ray, William Frank. Coming back towards uh, 412, coming back towards 412. Back westbound. The fleeing vehicle continued at speeds of 120 miles per hour, swerving erratically and posing a threat to other motorists on the road. A decision was made to intervene from behind. A collision almost caused the police vehicle to overturn as the driver of the fleeing car attempted to force the patrol car off the road. But fortunately, backup units continue to pursue. The vehicle ran through red lights and made sharp turns, and during the chase, the driver threw a small plastic bag out of the driver's seat and continued to evade a staggering 113 miles per hour. The pursuit lasted for hours, but the police did not give up. 
As the suspect attempted to turn and flee, the police officer executed and precision immobilizing technique, or PET, rendering the vehicle immobile. The pursuit resulted in the patrol car's windshield being shattered. The police demanded the driver to exit the vehicle, but he refused, and upon extraction, the driver attempted to escape custody. However, law enforcement gained control and detained him. And both the driver and the passengers were detained for further investigations. What challenges do you think the driver and passengers will face this time? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. A highly impressive pursuit unfolded in the instance between a police car and a motorbike speeding recklessly. The rider seemed oblivious to the direction, continuously swerving lanes. Despite repeated orders to stop, the motorcyclist persisted dangerously. You might wonder why a pit maneuver wasn't executed on the motorbike. It is a challenging decision because prioritizing the safety of the rider is paramount, and instantly performing a pit maneuver would expose them to significant risks. Though the police car maneuvered ahead to ensure warnings, the motorcyclist brazily disregarded the danger and either overtaking an no passing zone to reclaim the lead. Disregarding the traffic signals, the motorcycle pressed on. And at this point, the police had to intervene decisively against the dangerous vehicle, and the outcome was unfavorable for the rider. The motorcycle traveling at high speed began to lose control, careening into a traffic side before veering off the road. The police successfully apprehended the offender, who had appeared to be in pain for consequences of his action. Really? Yeah, how serious is his injuries? Hmm. 
The police engage in a routine road duties and regular vehicle inspection and unexpectedly received the report of another fling driver with a firearm on board. Realizing the suspect's proximity, they swiftly joined the pursuit. After confirming the color and license plate of the suspect's vehicle, the police closed in. The suspect drove south towards Chicago, entering a densely populated residential area, making it challenging for law enforcement to approach. A notification signaled to the execution of a pit intervention. A fellow officer advanced from behind and swiftly implementing the maneuver. Although the driver attempted to flee, they were apprehended shortly after. A search of the vehicles uncovered a firearm, and the suspect was promptly taken to the police station to face charges for the violation. At around 7 p.m. on December 28, 2023. In the waning days of the year, Alcantara State Police were conducting patrol when they received the distress call to join the pursuit of a fleeing suspect. Why? <laughs> After identifying the vehicle and its direction, the police officer swiftly pinpointed the suspect's car. Upon hearing the police siren, the suspect accelerated in an attempt to escape. And with numerous vehicles on the road, it poses a significant obstacle to its pursuit. Closing in and executing a successful pit maneuver, the officer quickly brought the fleeing suspect to a halt.
the patrol team arrived promptly and made a successful arrest without any injuries in this situation. A red car parked in front of the convenience store was flagged for administrative inspection. However, the driver quickly fled upon noticing the police car behind. Law enforcement promptly assessed the situation and initiated a pursuit. The alarm bled, but the fleeing vehicle did it accelerating effectively allowing the police to approach easily. A successful pit intervention was executed, bringing the car to a stop on the roadside. The man bolted from the vehicle, leaving his girlfriend inside. The woman remained remarkably composed as she exited the car and returned to the driver's seat. The man was swiftly unbranded. Subsequent checks revealed that the car was unregistered and the man lacked a driver's license. <laughs> A report came in about a stolen SUV fleeing at high speed, and upon receiving the information, the police promptly initiated a pursuit from behind. <laughs> the police vehicle accelerated upon realizing it had been detected and reaching a current speed of 90 miles per hour on a road full with moving vehicles. After joining the pursuit and recognizing the driver's lack of intention to stop, the police decided to intervene tactically and at the first opportunity. The fleeing vehicle continued even when the signal lights were still red, and perhaps the suspects were a professional rider as they maintained the lead, navigating through the dangerous route, underestimating the professional driving skills of the pursuing force. The police executed a put maneuver from behind, causing the vehicle to spin. Rescue teams were quick to arrive and the officer's vehicle, after colliding with the suspect's car, sustained damages to the front mud guard. The pursuit became extremely perilous as multiple police cars joined. Thank you. 
at the Southwick vehicle upon entering at a gas station was effectively blocked by four police vehicles. The suspect was quickly handcuffed and the vehicle was stowed to the police station. Naturally, they would have had to face the consequences for their actions. At approximately 11 a.m. on December 12, December 2023, a Florida Highway Patrol FHP trooper engaged in the speed control duties on State Route 91, spotted a gray Hyundai Sonata moving at a sluggish 43 mile per hour in a 70 mile speed limit zone, occupying the inner lane. And after the vehicle passed the trooper, it accelerated to the normal highway speed and suddenly surged to 130 miles per hour. <laughs> Upon detecting suspicious signs from the driver, the officer patrol car activated his alarm, signaling the driver to stop. However, the driver persisted in speeding. and immediately reported was dispatched to the police headquarters. The police car continued pursuing northbound on JR Road, while the suspect continued moving in the opposite direction. Seizing the opportunity, the police vehicle swiftly closed in, forcing the suspect's car into a roadside grass. The driver was instructed to open the vehicle door and exit immediately. The suspect was identified as Jack Reed Taylor Jr. and he had faced charges including reckless driving, traffic violations and exceeding the speed limit. Around 11 p.m. on December 30th, 2023, the patrol received a report that the Cross County Sheriff's Office was actively pursuing a danger dark colored passenger vehicle heading south on Highway 1 near Vandale at excessive speeds of 120 miles per hour. The suspect's vehicle spun clockwise and came to a stop in the middle of Highway 1. Jamarcus Barber, the rear seat passenger, fled across an open field to the east road and through an empty lot east of 4744 North Highway 1.
Upon returning to the suspect's vehicle, it was searched, revealing approximately 30 grams of marijuana and two firearms, a Draco and a Sesame Shield. Neither of these firearms were reported stolen, and none of the occupants were charged with the felonies. The vehicle was towed by the Triple J, and seized marijuana was documented as evidence. On August 29, 2021, a patrol officer experienced a tense situation while stopped at the red traffic light that had just turned green at Peterman and Road and Peterman Circle. The violator continued through the parking lot at a low speed. By circling back at Pritaman Circle, even after the mammoth parking lot, he did not accelerate to join the pursuit. <laughs> the violator then turned onto Pritaman Road and Pritaman Avenue, not stopping at the red light for two times. The patrol officer quickly noticed that the white Toyota Camry parked on the side of the road with the lights turned off at the intersection of Moore and Drive and Wimbledon Drive. The suspect was taken to the Grady Memorial Hospital and identified as the Moan Coral Smith, but as the rest warrant from outside Derby County, Smith was last uh, later transferred the Fulton County Jail. The incident occurred on December 19, 2023, when a stolen car had been reported just moments earlier after confirming the vehicle's color and the license plate. The police observed the car moving at a high speed on the highway and determined not to let the suspect escape. The police activated the siren and repeatedly demanded the vehicle to stop, but the perpetrator continued to flee recklessly. Releasing that there was no way to make the suspect stop, the patrol team decided to exit, execute a foot maneuver as soon as there was an opportunity to approach. Oh, it's a woman. What drove her to the so reckless? It turns out she had stolen the car just a few days before on Christmas, and perhaps she needs the car but didn't have enough money to buy one. It's crazy to think that stealing it would turn someone else's belongings into their own, and in the end, the gift she received was day in jail. The patrol team quickly arrived at the scene the following an emergency call from local residents who had spotted a black car driving recklessly on the road.
and as soon as the driver noticed the presence of the police, he swerved the guy into a row of trees by the side of the road and continued to flee on foot, leaving the vehicle behind. The police initiated a foot pursuit with the suspect. He attempted to escape into the residential area and intended to slip in, but was apprehended before he could be hired. On September 15, 2022, Miami Dade police officers spotted a white Honda Survey traveling north on the Florida Turnpike in Miami Dade County near Bird Road. The vehicle had been reported stolen and marked as a primary asset in a commission of illicit property offenses. When the MDPD personnel attempted to halt the vehicle, it accelerated, initiating a pursuit. The chase quickly transitioned to the Florida Highway Patrol as it approached the state 836. The dairy driver dangerously swerved into oncoming traffic, crossing the median hack and the main lane and continued to flee at high speed with numerous vehicles on the road. The pursuit became challenging with the potential of unpredictable collision to the high speed. Rescue units were deployed and joined the pursuit, while the police continued to approach the vehicle, preparing for intervention. Thank <laughs> you. 
However, the situation took a turn when the suspect abruptly turned left into a parking lot of the factory and three suspects in the car fled, including the identified driver as the 19-year-old Channing Howard, who was apprehended and faced multiple charges. The other two suspects were made at large after the dramatic and intense pursuit. A dark-colored SUV was speeding, exceeding the speed limit, and is disregarding traffic laws. Patrol officers attempt to stop the suspect, but they fled and speed exceeding 110 miles per hour. The pursuit continued through densely populated residential areas, posing risks to residents and other vehicles on the road. As the suspect continued to flee at high speeds, the police intervened to prevent the escalating danger. Eventually, the suspect's vehicle overturned after police conducted the safe intervention technique. The vehicle veered into a nearby ditch, and due to the overturned vehicle, both the driver and passengers were unable to exit and required medical assistance. Y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Are there any guns in the car? Stay where you're at right now, okay? Okay, l listen, I can't get to you right now. Stay where you're at, okay? Rescue personnel arrived at the scene and extracted both individuals from the vehicle. Both were determined to have no serious injuries. Subsequently, the, the police searched the vehicle and discovered a backpack containing multiple syringes, several plastic bags and a scale for packaging. Additionally, the police also found the firearm with 19 rounds. Both suspects were taken to the hospital for treatment, but the police later discovered more syringes hidden on the person of the suspects. Both were then charged with multiple offences, including drug possession and reckless driving. Let's continue to support our law enforcement officers, the street warriors, those who are always ready to fight for the safety and peace of our community. Let's share and acknowledge the difficulties they face daily and appreciate their sacrifices. Our team is committed to sharing meaningful stories and positive messages with everyone. Join us by subscribing to our channel so you won't miss any of our content. 
Thank you and see you in the next videos.